you've been ready, huh? Oh. Is it on? Yeah. Alright, hi guys. Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. Yeah, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Yeah, I'm RJ. Mom's behind the camera. Okay, yeah. now, what's what's going on? Because this is obviously different. Uh, we're, we're supposed, supposed to... to go live about 50 minutes ago. And? Um, we're the only two awake in the house. And know. then it wouldn't do what we needed it to do. And right, we were having so, uh, equipment malfunction. So, we're back to this way. All like right, yeah. so, that's Toby. In the chapel. Yep. Exodus, I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. 23, 1. Do not spread false reports. Do not help a guilty person by being a maculant witness. So, in other words, everybody doesn't know the full story, just... Keep your nose clean and do what you got to do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the barn stalls. Outside horse went home. Yep. There's Toby in the barn stalls. Don't. Um, put him down, son. That can't be comfortable. I know. He comes back for more. Um, okay, so what else? In the barn stalls. Kavayu's up, right? Yep. Why is Kavayu up? So mom can work with him. Yep. So he's going to start getting work daily. Um, and who is Kavayu? I guess we should say that first. They should know. Yeah, he's but a Mustang. He's a Mustang. We he's have had a few Mustang. extra uh, followers, so he is the first Mustang that I got, and he's also the smallest, so he's just not getting big enough to Little barrel. Little barrel. be used to. Um, he's just now getting big enough to really saddle and ride, correct? Alright, and we've got one you that is limping. Um, and what are we doing for it? I had a doctor this morning. Gave her antibiotic and yep. so. We'll see if that helps her. I can't find anything wrong with her foot, so. Okay, could be fescue foot or something like that yep. though, and that doesn't show a sign, right? Right. Okay. Um, anything else going on out there? Mm -hmm. Bull is in with the steer, right? Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed, okay. Um, Okay, what's up next? Mending fences. What have we had to fix today? You had to fix the tin. We had some storms. And, uh, sorry, car going by. Uh, we had some storms, and it blew apart the man pen. We can put those sides back up, too. Have we gotten that done or not? No. Okay. Well, they're half up. I they're half, yeah. We've got to get them. So, we'll get out there and get that done. Um, because of our uh, visitor, we're a little bit behind on things, correct? Yep. But we got there's a piece of tin that blew, and you got that cut off, right? Yeah, I took that off. And then, um, anything else? Did anything blow apart in the garden? No. Or, I don't think I don't so. <coughs> I gotta fix that gate. That's not like, that's a gar that's a goat thing. <coughs> yeah, I know. Those keep jumping on the gate, and they just go bang, I'm flattening it out, and then they're yeah. running. So. So that's gotta be fixed, and I gotta find a way to do that. Yeah. Um, and I've put it up like three or four times. Duck tape. <laughs> no, okay, so other than that, in the nothing to fix, nothing to report, right? Um, what is? <laughs> will you stop, Toby? Don't come over here by camera. See, call him back over there, because now he's gonna love on the camera. Toby, okay. stop. Be nice to him. All right. In the yarn farm, of course, our visitor's here, but you don't get to see her because she's she on the couch. not exactly hanging very well, is she? This being cowboy thing is is harder than it looks. There's a lot of no sleeping. A lot of no sleeping, and so. yep. So just different lifestyle, huh? Uh huh. It's a lot of work because when you're up, you work, you keep going. Mm -hmm. You know. She did all right yesterday until the rodeo, and then yeah. she fell asleep on the way down, and she fell asleep on the way back. And who's the only one yeah. that actually stayed awake and did what we do? Yeah, I, I slept. Yep, but you had to get up and do chores this morning. Mm -hmm. So, Mom yep. stayed awake. I am operating on very little sleep, very little food, and we got to do it again tonight. Right? Yeah. But we got this. So, um, other than that going on and just stuff like that, I mean, we're not even, we're open. We took a section of the 4th of July off and we're not open to the public. I haven't I been in. I calls yesterday. Did you? Yeah. And? There's some people coming 
a guy and his daughter are going to come and like, he gets her back in like three weeks or something. He had her this weekend and, and he loves animals and he was asking if we were open or closed Yeah. and then he said he'd get her back in like a week or two. Yeah. So. Every other week. Yeah. A lot of parents will do that and you call and schedule it on their weekend. Yep. And then of course, well we've got the Boy Scouts coming he said out he might too. Come in the middle of the week depending yeah. on. Yeah. On what they're doing. But um, we've also got a group of Boy Scouts coming out here. We, we've got visits. It's just this week we're not doing this. It's just the hot guys. It is. Um, what was the heat index the other day? 112, I think. Yeah. 100 it was 110. Like, like actual cool temperature. temperature. And then we have humidity. Yeah, and the heat index makes like 112. <laughs> Kitty is, <laughs> Kitty is tipping the camera. This is why we don't record outside a lot. That's Toby. All right, so where were we at? Um, in the yarn farm, right? Yeah. Like going. Uh, anything else in the yarn farm? Yeah, pump him up. Will you stop? He'll fart on you. He morph me. Okay, now we do have some of the goats separated off. Why is that? What is they it? They getting out, and they get on the road, and yeah, they come and to the yard, and they lay in the shade trees. <laughs> I know. And they so. go so far, guys. They. Run I know, but I just don't like them that way. To crawl through a hole in the fence. To tear down a gate. To go through another hole in the fence. To go a quarter mile back this way. To lay underneath the shade trees in the yard. I kid you not. Yep. Every time we find them, they're in the front yard. Yep. Or on their way to the front, front yard. Front yard, yeah. Camilla, that one day, I got back to the house and she was already back out there mm -hmm. and headed back. And I'm like, no. So, so. yeah, they got a little yard pin off over here. And we just put them up. So. Yep. All right. Uh, in the farmhouse, have you skipped anything? We're going kind of fast just because we're tired and I we had planned a live. And yeah, we RJ's got a job to do tonight, today, and before he goes to two different rodeos. So, all right. Last night, long time, fell something hung up on your horse. Yeah. I'm I not sure. Something and I fell off. Yep. A little more, I went. Eh, whoop. Yeah, that was more the. <laughs> can we see that? Again? Can we see that again? Sure. I could get off and I'm going. Uh, and then what? And then it gave way. I got to go back. Uh, yeah. So. It was pretty common. But anyway. Oh hey, here's another kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. <laughs> Toby's on one side. Tilly's on the other two. That are like holy terrors. And Toby is more a pet than a terror. He's like always under. Let's see if I can do this. Oops, my fingers are in it. He's just pestering RJ the entire time. Yeah, but then your face doesn't fit in the frame. So. All right. And what? Uh, so pretty much we're just um, helping her get video. Yeah. Hanging out here, doing the rodeo thing, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, you gotta work Sunday. You yep. gotta work a part time job today, and then Sunday you gotta work the roping. All right. <gasps> Toby! Come here, Kim. This is why we don't record outside. Because he's hey, you. gonna do this, and now hang on, I don't have it fixed. I'm balancing everything right. on my lap, and. Okay, there's RJ up close and personal. Woohoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, go on. but this is that. this is why we don't. Anyway, but we're gonna we've got some chores to do still, right? I gotta get Jethro get him fed. Um, we got in at what four this morning? Uh, speaking of dogs, we need to talk oh, about. yeah, in the barn stalls we did have one thing happen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, Hank uh, passed away. We're not so really sure what. Who, who's Hank, first off? Hank's the little red healer dog. We, no, uh, first, say little. we're going to say this up front. Hank is a she. Yes. She okay, a, don't let... She uh, was a red healer that we had for 10 years, probably. No, I figured it out. You got her when she was six, when you were six. She came that first few months that we were here, and you're 20. 14 years old. 14. And she started having seizures a year ago or 18 months ago. So, so we don't. I think know. she had a stroke. Mom thinks she snake bit. Well, we're we, not we, sure. She had a swollen leg, and that's what threw us off. So we're not sure. And Doc said the two things could 
not be related. Yeah, so they could not be related, and they could be. But related, they could so. be related, so and we don't know. she had lived a good, long, happy life. She couldn't tell us, so you know, um, she was a dump dog, so she started out really rough. And, but uh, we're not actively looking because we're down two dogs, are we not? Okay, what does that? What issues does that create? Um, Who's working full time? Jethro. He won't have a part time gig to do a, a full time gig. Well, and it wasn't even part time. He was just the. Barker. He was the deep voice that let the other animals, the coyotes, not know that there was a big dog up here. And one of the things is a Great Pyrenees doesn't have to go and chase a lot because they're intimidating in size. All he has to do is stand up in the flock and roar, 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 and they go on. Mm -hmm. Hank was the one that alerted to the fact that they were too close to the herd. She was the one that told him when to attack, attack basically. And Not he like would. They ever did anything I, he them. just well, they chase him off, and then he'd take his big paw and he could roll them. Could he not? Just go flop. And, and they get up and run off. And he'd get up there and just bam, <clears> right <throat> in the butt. Put them in the butt and roll them up. Yep, and that was dog talk for you don't come back here. Um, Boy. Yeah, Whop. and so any time that persistence correction needed to be done with the coyotes, he uh -oh. was, and she's the one that told him when to do it. Mm -hmm. So now we've lost our lead dog and his backup. Yes. So we're actively looking for two. two. We still hadn't found one to replace Kid, who was hit by a train. And then she was old, and Doc honestly said, even if it had been a stroke, there's not a whole lot he could do. I mean, if it had been a way. snake, it, it you can't pay to have that brought in, you know. Well, you don't know what bitter, what yeah. snake bitter, and you have to know exactly what snake bitter to give her a hand of it. So. And it's not like she'd say, hey, he was brown with squiggly lines on him. Yeah, or, um, Black on him. or the heat got to me, or, or whatever. She can't say that. We have to figure it out on our own. And, it's really hard, so, um, anyway, okay, we're going to move on past that, because I don't like that time. That just happened Thursday, didn't it? It's kind of raw. So, um, all right, anything else going on? Kind of short, sweet, and to the point? Well, if I'm to eat shortly. Yep, and then we're going to, we got to get some stuff done, so, before we hit the road. I got to go. And you gotta work. Check cows, dock the cows. Yep. Make them boy. Make them what? What? Oh, play coat. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. When he was little, the reason he does all the time is when he was little, he used to have this black bouncy horse that he bounced on and, and he had this little rope and he'd watch roping videos. I jump like this. And he'd get that rope going and that bouncy horse going and he couldn't say cowboy. I'd say cowboy. Cowboy, just K boy, you know, ka boy, and I'm a cowboy, I'm a cowboy, and I don't know if it's because he wasn't hearing it right or what, but he was all of like three, so I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? No, but it stuck with me. So every time I'm going to do something, like, I'm a cowboy. Yep, yeah, I'm a cowboy. So, little back history there, huh? Yeah, little back history, little back story. All right. Now let's have too many conversations. Can get back to our Really yep. Program. So, and sorry for no special guests. Sorry for no lives. Sorry for. Yeah. We're just gonna do what we do. Keep rolling, right? Okay. Are you done? Well, you need I to guess. tell them bye bye choo choo. Oh, bye bye. Oh. <laughs> We're not gonna sit here and watch you play choo choo. Oh. All right. We will talk at y'all later and. Uh. He better get back. Sound girl scouts. <laughs> wow, 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 wow.